guys, welcome back to Adventures of Megan and Mike. Last time you saw us, you saw us exploring the Southwest. Today we are exploring the Southeast in beautiful Charleston, South Carolina. If you've been along for the ride, thank you so much for watching our videos. And if you're new here, welcome. Our first stop here in Charleston was Callie's Hot Little Biscuits. We got ourselves a cold brew, which we're gonna share. We both, we both got a bacon, egg, and cheese on a biscuit, which is massive, and it looks really good. And uh, let's see how it tastes. This is huge. <laughs> All right, I apologize. This isn't this isn't gonna be pretty. <laughs> it was worth the wait. We also got a cold brew with our biscuits at Callie's Hot Little Biscuits and it's really good. It's just how we like it. Nice and cold and brewy. <laughs> cold brew. Coming at you from Rainbow Row in Charleston, South Carolina. We're standing right in the middle of Longitude Lane. It is one of the more popular alleys here in Charleston, South Carolina. They are known for having beautiful alleyways, as you can clearly see behind me. Now we're at Joe Riley Waterfront Park. It's a little park right here along the water. I believe it's the Cooper River behind me, but I'll double check on that for you and put it in the video. Um, it's a beautiful park. It's about eight acres, uh, beautiful trees, beautiful pathways, and it's right along the water. There's cruise ships, there's military ships in the background. So it's definitely a great place to sit and lounge and check it out. And there is some shade, so if you're bringing your furry friend, there is some shade for them as well. Aside from all the beautiful palm trees and uh, tree-covered walkways, this park also is home to the famous Pineapple Fountain here in Charleston. We're going to take you over there next. You actually could swim in the fountain, which I didn't know. I saw a sign that said you could swim in it. I think there's only 25 people allowed in the fountain at a time, but let's go check it out. Definitely can go in the water. There's plenty of people in the water, so let's go check it out and see how cold it is. It's actually pretty refreshing. It's 83 degrees out here today in Charleston, so it actually felt pretty good. It was cold, but it was like really like nice. So definitely step in the pineapple fountain when you're here. We have made our way south of Charleston now and we are now in Johns Island, South Carolina at the famous Angel Oak Tree. It's the largest living structure 
east of the Mississippi at approximately 1500 years old. It is absolutely massive. It, like the videos and pictures just do not do it justice. It's such an amazing oak tree. There are a lot of rules here at the park. The park is actually open today. Today is Saturday from 9 a.m. to 5. We actually were unaware of those hours. So definitely check out the website before uh, visiting to make sure you know what time is the best time to get here. It's not too busy when we're here this Saturday afternoon. It's almost close to closing. It's just after 4.30. So we're, it's getting close to closing time, but it's definitely worth checking out. There are a lot of rules in the park, so be, make sure you follow the rules of all the signage, um, just so you don't damage and um, preserve the oak trees. In addition to its age, it's approximately 65 feet high and approximately 31 and a half feet around, so it's pretty big. It's pretty epic. Definitely check it out if you're in the area. One thing to keep in mind is that pets are not allowed within 100 feet of the tree. There's actually orange cones all around the tree that you have to stay behind when they're, if you have a pet with you. So Megan is up taking some pictures and getting a closer look of the tree. So I'm sitting behind the red or the orange cones in the picnic area with Duncan. So one thing to keep in mind, there are some restrictions um, just for the overall preservation of this tree being that it is 1500, over 1500 years old. So. Definitely take a look at all the signs as you're walking into the park. We just got told we have five minutes before the um, area at the tree is closing, so I'm gonna read from my notes some uh, places because we're in a bit of a rush, but I just wanted to m mention two places that we're not gonna go to just because dogs aren't allowed at this time of year. The first was Cypress Gardens. Um, if you've seen the notebook or the Patriot, you know exactly what we're talking about. We'll insert a picture of that um, infamous notebook picture in here. Dogs aren't allowed at this time of year, so we're not gonna be able to make it. Um, dogs are permitted from November to February. And the last place we're not going is Boone Hall Plantation and Gardens. It's $28 a person and pets are allowed on a leash but they're not permitted in any of the buildings and for how much it is per person if we are going to spend that money we want to be able to enjoy the full tour so we are going to be skipping that today um, and there is that iconic shot of the oak trees there that you typically see in relation to Charleston so that's um, something important to note there in regard to the oak trees it's the world famous avenue of oaks so that was a little rushed and i had to cheat with my notes but we got to get out of here so we'll see you guys at foley beach we're ending our day at folly beach we have a 750 sunset and we heard it's the perfect place to be if you want to catch sunset here so this is where we are right now we have an awesome view of the morris island lighthouse duncan's crying because he wants to own the car now, the original morris island lighthouse was built in 1767 but was actually destroyed during the civil war in 1876 a new one was built in place of it and we got some awesome drone footage for you guys because we finally have a drone so we're gonna put that in here for you foley beach is about six miles long it is full of sand dunes they are protected and they are fragile so make sure you do not walk on the sand dunes from may 1st to september 30th dogs are not allowed on the beach today um we're here in april so luckily we're able to bring duncan along with us now we were going to bring some dinner with us and enjoy sunset but it's a little windy and we think it might be a little difficult so we're going to find some dinner after we watch the sunset here we hope you guys are enjoying this video if you are please give us a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and thanks for sticking around and watching all of our adventures
There's also two parks that we had on our itinerary for today, but we didn't get a chance to get to. It was um, Hampton Park and Washington Park. I believe it's Washington Square. Uh, I was really excited. If you're an Outer Banks fan, uh, the Washington one was a filming location in season one when Sarah and John B, after they hop off the ferry, they walk through there. Um, and in some of my researches that they did film some things on Foley Beach, so maybe they were over here. 